We are crossing over to Mombasa where Francis Talaki is standing by. Francis, good morning. It's good to see you. What are the concerns from the business people of Mombasa? Well, Trevor, the concerns are from the business uh, people in Mombasa County and uh, uh, with regard to the pending base is that uh, a number of uh, suppliers have not been paid and uh, Mombasa sits among the 15 counties that have not, been, uh, have not made any effort to clear their pending bills even after being notified by the national government to pay that money in July this year. They, have not, they, are, they are yet to do so. An explanation from the county government of Mombasa is that uh, they are working around the, they are, uh, working around the clock to make sure that uh, they, have pay, they have paid uh, those pending bills. But also, you will realize that Governor Ali Hassan Joho in his, he is in his second term and uh, some of the pending bills that we've been able to uh, uh, get information from the, some of the suppliers is that there are some of the suppliers who have not been paid uh, even from the 2013 2017 uh, he is a uh, uh, his first term as a governor and that explains more uh, why we are having some more numbers uh, from the uh, county government that have not been paid but with me is, is a section of uh, suppliers both from the county government and the national government and uh, from the national government side here in Mombasa County because we have a number of departments it has emerged that from 2009 some of the suppliers have not been paid but with me is Mr. Mr. Peter Hudu I want to bring in for this conversation Nini Mkuangapi? na mwanadai kiasi cha pesa ngapi kuanzia lini uh, kwa majina naitwa Peter Hodo we are around 300 suppliers from Shimoratewa I'm the chairman uh, tunadai pesa from 2009 to date uh, we have been promised several times sometimes last year we met with the uh, the PS uh, ma, ba, uh, mama uh, Zainab Zainab Hussein she promised that she's going to pay us in uh, a period of one month to two months. She looks very concerned about our price. We explained everything to her. She pretended to be very uh, concerned about us, but up to today, we have not get, got any payment at all. Uh, approximately, to Nadai, almost one billion from Shimorateba prison. Yes. Currently, nothing is moving. We cannot even be able to supply. We cannot even be able to educate our children. Totally nothing. Some of us have even left, have, have, gone, uh, have, uh, have gone underground. They, have dead. they are dead already. They cannot even afford uh, some medical bills. And when you hear the national government saying that uh, we need these things to be paid, what comes to your mind? Actually, when we heard that uh, the president was asking some of uh, his people about why uh, citizens don't have money in their pockets, we were surprised. They have our money. How can we be having it in our pockets? And what do you want to see from the national government since that uh, you have a, a pending bills since 2009? Actually, what we would like to get from the president is please tell your people to be very quick and let them pay us our money so that we can be able to spend in, in this country and, that, and then we revamp our, our economy. You cannot revamp the economy when you have our money. And also, in terms of how has this affected the only your daily activities? Daily activities are no, no longer moving anymore. All those people are bowali kwa na matatu wapo wana kinenio, ziki haribika saizi melala. School fees is a problem. Everything is just a big mess. Sande, sanwache ni mpati umezako mungine wapo kuonge. Sungwa karibu. Ah, nyati ya mtaki. Njo haba. Labda wewe, unadai kiasi pesa ngapi na umeathirika kivipu? Nandai kama milioni tano kutoka 2011 sinjapata pesa saa hivi nilikuwa nimenunua nyumba imeenda na loni gari ikaenda na loni saa hivi mtoto wangu ni mgonjwa anataka kwenda india sina pesa amelaswa kinya, kinyato store na sina pesa naomba serikali wanipe pesa yangu nikilia mandeni na familia yangu iende sawa sawa mm. unaona ukilipa 5 million utaweza kujirevamp pia kibiashara nikilipwa 5 million nitalipa mandeni na niendelee na maisha yangu ya kawaida. Mm. Sana. Ule wakati wa kulipa ile madeni ama ukinapofanya biashara wewe huwa mna mkataba mnalipa baada ya siku 21 mwezi mbona inakuwa na matatizo haya? Kutoka hakika kutoka uhuru aingie wakati wa kibaki hakukuwa na shida yoyote. Uhuru alipoingia shida ilianza hapo. Kutoka 2011 mpaka saa hii hatunjapata hiyo pending bill. Na kila wakati tunaambiwa tusubiri tusubiri. 
na tunjaona chochote atunjui shida iliingilia wapi kwa hivyo tunaomba urwa angalia shida iliingilia wapi pesa tukakosa na tukaingia kwa mashida na kwa mandeni Asante sana. Well, those are some of the concerns from the suppliers, both from the county government and the national government. And as he puts it, he needs that uh, the pending bills to be sorted out so that uh, they can be able to move on with their daily activities because this has been a uh, sort of a challenge to them in terms of running their daily activities and also continue with the number of businesses that operate here in Mombasa County. Back to you, Trevor. Thanks, Francis. That's Francis Lucky speaking to us from Mombasa and speaking to some suppliers who say they are owed money. Some of them as far back as 2009, they still haven't received any of those payments and they're wondering when this directive of pay all the suppliers was given by the president, how come they haven't received their money?